Nicola from Cook Me Slim and today I'm going to be making Cajun chicken pinwheels. To start with, you're going to need some chicken. I've got a chicken breast fillet, some tomato puree, any brand will do, and some Cajun seasoning. My favourite is from Schwartz. You're also going to need some salted meat like cured bacon, ham, or I've got some salt beef. In terms of your apparatus, you're going to need a good sturdy chopping board, a small bowl, some measuring spoons, an extra teaspoon, a sharp knife for cutting any fat off your meat, some cling film, some foil, and a good strong rolling pin. Okay, to begin with, we're going to cut the fat off the chicken because according to Slimming World, one of the things that they remind us is always cut off any excess white fat that you can see off the meat before you begin. Next up, you're going to cover your chicken in cling film. some of the day's frustration because you want to batter it as thin as possible. Now as you can see the chicken piece has almost doubled in size. Next up, we're going to come to our filling for our Cajun chicken pinwheels. And for this, for each piece of chicken, you're going to need one heat tablespoon of tomato puree and approximately a half a teaspoon of your Cajun seasoning. Then you're going to spread your tomato puree on top of the chicken. So next up we're going to get ready to roll our chicken pinwheels. We want to cut a piece of foil ready and have that on the side. And if you've got some string handy it will make this process a little bit easier. It's not essential but it will make it easier. And I'm going to slide the string under the chicken. going to roll up the chicken and this just requires a little bit of care. So now we're going to take our salt beef and we're going to carefully wrap this around our chicken roll. Again you can use ham or bacon, whatever is your preferred meat, something a bit salty. around And then we're going to tie it up with our string. If you don't have any string, that doesn't matter, but it does just make it a little bit easier and helps it all keep together. And then we're going to put this onto our foil we're going to roll it up tightly. And you want to roll it as tight as possible. Tight 
tie the ends. And we're going to put it in the oven at 180 degrees for 25 minutes. Be careful when I'm rolling it, it's quite hot. You can serve it hot or cold, I prefer it served cold. And if you've got some kitchen roll to hand, that's useful just to absorb any of the liquid coming out of it so it doesn't run all over the kitchen. <laughs> there you have your cooked roll. And I'm going to allow it to cool before we carve it. So first of all, we're going to leave the string in place and we're going to slice it carefully, but I'm going to take it off the foil to do this. Just got to be aware of all the juices. And as you get to the middle of the section, you start to see your pinwheel pieces. As you get to the string, then remove it. And now we're going to plate up on a bed of salad. And there you have it, Cajun chicken pinwheels.